Hello there, welcome to Random Review, and today we're talking about Costume Quest. The basic plot here is twin brother and sister, Randall and Ren, uh, want to go out trick or treating on Halloween night. Uh, the parents are going to be okay, and they go out and trick or treat. Uh, though they run into a goblin who kidnaps, in my case, uh, the sister, since I picked the, the brother. Because she's dressed up as a giant piece of candy corn, and the goblin thinks that's an actual piece of candy, <laughs> even though it could talk. You try to go get your sister back, and the sorceress Drusilla stops you, takes away your costume, and now you must get a, a brand new costume to save your sister and, and scavenge whatever you can of this Halloween night. And of course, you meet some friends along the way. The story reminded me of like a kids, uh, a kids Halloween cartoon movie. There you go. That's that's what I was to try to say. <laughs> And I mean that in the most positive way as you could think of. And I don't mean it like as a negative or anything. It has um, some funny dialogue, funny characters, and even the, the cast themselves, even though they're kids, they're fun to be around. And of course, they learn you know, moral lessons, so on and so forth. Uh, it's, it's definitely uh, worth a play for the, the entertaining little story they, they throw at you. The gameplay is a turn-based RPG. Uh, it's pretty simple. You just when you start to get, uh, the gameplay is a turn-based RPG. It's a pretty simple one too. You just get in the battle and uh, you press the attack button. And depending on what costume you have on, the mini game for a critical strike is different. So there's some that you gotta press the attack button at a certain time, or you gotta just wiggle the stick real fast, or you gotta press the attack button a bunch of times. And that will trigger uh, a stronger attack. And as I mentioned, uh, it depends on costume. There are costumes you will get through the gameplay that has different uh, uh, like special moves and stuff like that. So like the robot, the basic one you get, you, uh, and special moves build up after each turn. There's no other special way to do it. It just builds up after each turn. I think it's like after your third turn you get it. Uh, so like the robot gets like a big missile attack. There's a Statue of Liberty who's basically like your, your healer that do a, a all heal attack and stuff like that. And while you start with just one character, in my case was Reynolds, you do get uh, two more uh, friends to help you with everything. And you could change any of your costumes. Any of you could be whatever you want. Uh, doesn't it doesn't really matter. It's just who you want. It's just basically who you want to put on it. But that's, that's basically it. Uh, and the combat also has battle stamps, which are special skills you could put on each character. And while some are pretty simple, like just raise your attack and stuff like that, there are some that have like pretty cool health abilities. Like uh, when I attack the, the monster, it would um, poison them automatically. And thankfully, it works on bosses too. It's not because some RPGs tend to win status like debuffs and stuff like that don't tend to work on bosses for some reason this one if you poison the boss it'll work um there's also there's also ones that if um one person gets hit but it's like a spread attack and then the other ones will get poisoned at the same time you know things like that which is actually pretty damn helpful in, in this in these fights and i will say this game is really beginner friendly uh, when it comes to the, the the core combat like a kid could pick up and play this with little to no problem it's not really hard or anything it's like a a, a laid back for someone like me who's been playing games for freaking years it was like a nice laid back experience there was only like one moment i think it was the final boss that i needed to like re uh, rethink my strategy but besides that i kept the basic of oh, the core costumes i wanted and used so that's base that's the combat right there and um, the other part of the gameplay is exploration. After all, your your goal is to collect candy to make progress, so you're trick or treating on Halloween. So you could uh, move around and everything. Oh, and each costume has a special ability on the. I think each one has a special ability on the field. Uh, so like the the most the best one is the robot because he has rollerblades and that lets you and your characters <laughs> speed away really really fast it's a great way to tra traverse the area in a fast momentum uh the night one which blocks you from overhead so you can go into the little areas and so on and so forth i do 
um and, oh there's also like little side quests nothing major there's like one of just collecting uh stickers for someone uh or collect the apple or get a right costume there's a mini game of bobbing for apple apples and as i mentioned battle stamps you could buy them that it gets periodically um refilled like with new stamps but um you could buy them with candy um from the like battle stamp store some little girl set up it's actually pretty cute and stuff like that and she does follow you and everything you meet her father and stuff you know i like that i like little touches like that it's a lot of personality in this game um but yeah it's expiration and there's at least three i think i think it's three or four different areas there's the main your main suburb uh then you got like a, a band uh a, a mall it's like two parts of the mall it's like a abandoned part and then there's the mall itself you can go trick-or-treating and when you go trick-or-treating that's like the, a random battle thing because when you trick-or-treating uh it could either be just a person giving you candy or it could be a goblin or whatever creature it is and you have to, and you have to fight so that's like the, has, this game has like random encounters but also there's also encounters where you could sneak up and hit enemies and get the drop on them and do them damage before the fight even starts so it's in, in, in the random i guess it's in, even though it's a random battle it's not like a crazy encounter rate it's just when you trick or treat every other fight is you see them on the field and you could get the drop on them but yeah that's basically the aspiration but yeah it gets uh i fucking well track i was up to the mall then there's uh I guess the because you were starting to stuff. I guess like the countryside, like in the woods and stuff like that, with a little theme park and stuff like, and stuff. And that's like, and I think a like hedge maze. So there's like a good variety of air locations. So you never get bored of where you are, because you could be done with this area pretty fast. I just like searching every nook and cranny I can, do every sub quest I can, collect as much as I can. And but yeah, that's uh, and there's even you could even upgrade your pail i can't remember off the top of my head of how that happens i think you just talk to someone and they just upgrade your, your, your pail for doing something i can't remember off the top of my head i'm sorry and that like gives you a little bit overall stat boost for all your characters and it, it, it could carry more candy which is pretty helpful too so yeah that's um that's the aspiration and i don't know what else is there no, I think about covered everything when it comes to combat exploration. Uh, now I'll talk about like the visuals and such. And I really like the visuals here. I like the art style, like the character designs. It's all really visually pleasing. Uh, the game screams Halloween. That's one of the reasons I really love it. Yeah, like the jack o' lanterns, all the kids in different costumes. Even we go different areas, it still has a Halloween spirit. It nails it. It's, it's really nice to look at. I never grew in the suburbs, but I'm guessing this is how it would be. Um, I'm a city kid. They didn't have this stuff. It's basically going to bodega, get hopefully get some candy. But yeah, I, I like the visuals. There's, there's no voice acting, but that didn't bug me. I don't hold it against the game. Even when it comes to combat, the visuals are really nice. Like I like the fact that the kids are using their imagination and turn into what they dressed as, like the robot and the knight and then Statue of Liberty. Um, the backgrounds of the combat areas change where you're at, uh, depending where you're at too. And the, even the specials, like the rockets and like the Statue of Liberty, which has like a year America thing, is all visually pleasing. This game captures the Halloween spirit. I, I just love the visuals, like hands down. And the game performs well too, at least for what I'm playing on. I'm playing on the Series S. Um, it's on Game Pass. So I, I played it. Uh, what's also pretty cool is it comes with the DLC, which is uh, this takes place pretty much right after uh, the game, maybe like a month or a few days or something. And then the DLC, where the DLC ends, is where part two right away picks up. So if you if you like the first game and you, <clears throat> and you want to play part two, the DLC like. You, it feels like you would need to play it. I guess I'll find out whenever I play part two later this month, which I am, because that's how much I really enjoy this game. But yeah, it's it's nice that it comes with with uh, the base and the DLC as well. If you have a uh, Game Pass, 
overall i really had a freaking fun time with this like it was a nice enjoyable laid back rpg with the halloween spirit perfect for the season uh, uh the, the the story is enjoyable like the characters are fun to be around um if you don't mind if you're bothered by easy games i wouldn't play this but if you don't mind a laid back rpg or if you want if you have kids or brother or sister and you want to recommend the rpg for them and they're like you know little kids and stuff like that uh this is like perfect like it's really fun like i said it's like a halloween kids movie again in the most positive way possible and i really recommend it i want to play part two and i will try my best to play it before the season's over because i want to play it for the season <laughs> since it's halloween again um and um again like i said uh, you play it on Series s and get game pass you'll get the game and the dlc as well which is you know a nice bonus so yeah i if you like i said if you're looking for something that's a laid back rpg with a halloween spirit i 100 percent recommend this title so hoping to mind my ramble and for gamer's sake keep gaming